to be talking about one of the biggest things going down in diving history. Get into it! Get into it! go do my dive course that's gonna be pretty cool so yeah this is my dad who I'm doing it with and so I've actually dived once before kind of um, and my dad gave me his um, VCD and all of that and we were in the shallows and I tested it out and it was super cool I was on the anchor going like woo it was awesome and it was really fun and it also inspired me to do my dive course Do you want to do your dive course? Definitely. How sure are you? 100% sure. It's really fun and I want to get my dive course. <laughs> it was really fun. I was sitting on the anchor and riding it like, I was like, woo! <laughs> Underwater. So to prepare for this, I had to, um, I had to go and do my online dive course and answer a bunch of questions and learn about the dive course. So tonight I gotta pack up my gear and tomorrow we're going to go to do my dive course. I am super excited. One of my main goals is getting a crayfish. I want to do that. Radio, we got our dive course tomorrow. We've both been doing our online part of it and I shouldn't admit this but I have been diving quite a lot before and haven't done my ticket in the past and it's something that I definitely wouldn't recommend that anyone does. Alright, I better get to it and uh, catch you in the pool tomorrow. We've got all the great gear and we're looking really forward to getting down to Dive Zone. Um, they've got such a great reputation, so um, I'm looking really forward to myself, but most of all I'm looking forward to seeing Reef learn, uh, get some confidence, and who knows, he might even get his first crayfish. Morning, Mr. Diver. It's time for a dive course. Oh, look at over there. Morning, mate. Mm. Have you had a good sleep? You ready to do some diving? Eh? Yeah. Is that a is that a yes nod? I see. Mm. All right. Better get up and have some bricky, eh? Come on. Time to get up. Woken up yet? Pretty sure. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Oh, I'm ready for this! He's ready. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go to the pool, back up the drive and use the pool, do all that stuff, and then um, come back, have some deep, and then out to the beach. So, oh yeah, we're going on a beach dive this afternoon. Yeah. So there's some yeah. cool little missions. Awesome, right? Just have your entries and exits and all the other bits and pieces that you do yeah. covered today, and then tomorrow is the cool day off the boat. Yeah, man. <laughs> so the weather's looking way better tomorrow too, anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's at least tomorrow. Perfect. Yeah, so today doesn't matter as far as that goes. Yeah, yeah that's perfect. And small group, you'll have a ball. Grab the other end. Got it? It's heavy. Dive Zone for the Anger has every piece of dive gear you'll ever need. They have a huge range of equipment for sale and for hire. 
excited. Yeah. So if you're ever looking for some gear in Fidianga, come in and check them out. So it's all nice and snug. Wanna check it on the truck there, horse? <laughs> Hey Ray, get into it. No, I'm trying to get into it. <laughs> so we arrived at the pool and we got our wetsuits and our booties and that on. And then Elise showed us how to set up our BCD, put our weights on, and um, we put the tanks on, get them ready, make sure that they're fine. And we put the gear on and jumped in the pool. When we got into the pool, Elise gave us some instructions and told us what to do. We went through a couple of exercises and diving things that you should know, practiced them, and we got into it. Before I hopped in the pool, I kind of felt kind of nervous that it was going to be cold. But once I got in, well, yeah, once I got in, it was a little bit cold. But I eventually got used to it and worked it out, and it was warm. In the pool, we started off learning some basic dive skills and how to use them in real life situations. So when I started getting into it, um, I did feel like I was like kind of having doubts. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. And I got used to it and nothing went wrong, so that's good. And um, yeah, it was a whole load of fun and I wish I could do that again. So one of the fun exercises that we had to do was take our mask off underwater and put it back on and take all of the water out of it underwater and it was scary but I, I did it, got through it and it was pretty cool. Sound effects, right? We're on our way to our second dive. Look at how dry it goes. She's outstanding. She just got nervous. Wrapping it around that corner. <laughs> For our second dive and first ocean dive, we headed to Matapawa, which is nearby Fidianga. Unfortunately, the weather conditions were horrible. It was wet, windy, and the visibility was terrible. So we didn't get much underwater footage but we got the job done and I was really proud of Ruth. He did a fantastic job in those conditions. Just on the verge of being, when you go to that one way. Did you get these? Yeah. 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 Well, I was like, good then. Yeah. <laughs> Day two open water dive course. How are you feeling, Reef? Hold on. I'm not. I'm, I'm texting my friends. Alright, how are you feeling today, mister? Um, bit of a sore shoulder, actually. Hmm. Hmm. Had a pre-existing sore shoulder before the course and just uh, having the straps and all the weight over it yesterday has just aggravated it a little bit, but it's not too bad. Good day one. Reef did real amazing. I was really proud of him. It was hard yesterday, it was stormy, rainy, windy, terrible visibility, um, but today it's cleared up a bit, it's a quite nice little westerly by the look of it, and um, the viz should be a bit better, we're going to go to a few different spots today, but I think the viz should be pretty good, so it'll be an awesome day in the water today, and really fun, so we did all the hard work yesterday, all the grunt work, and today we should... Um, get to capitalise on some of the skills that we learnt yesterday, so it should be awesome. How about you, Ray? Oh, oh, so, oh, oh, oh. Oh, so tired. I'm too tired. Can I do this? I'm like, not right now. <laughs> I'm so 
Hi. Chad, we're being a diver. So it's day two and we're going to dive zone. And we're gonna go on the boat today and that's gonna be cool. Almost looks like it isn't freezing cold. It is. It looks freezing. Is that good? How are you feeling, yeah. But we'll do it sitting down. <laughs> good. And good. then you can just bail the boat. Go diving. Nice. Are you excited? Uh huh. Before we got in the water, me and my dad had to do a body check. We had to check that all our equipment was working and was being used the way it should be. I started to get really excited when we got all the gear on and everything. Then we jumped in the water and did some exercises from what we learned in the pool from the other day. I felt really confident while doing that bit and, and I also had heaps of fun watching everybody else do their stuff as well. But it was really hard getting back on the boat with all my gear on. <laughs> we found some... Um, uh, like, there was this bottle thing, but I saw this like tentacle that looked like an octopus tentacle, so I didn't want to grab the bottle. Yeah. So I tried to tell Dad to, but he didn't understand it. So um, there was these fish, and I was feeding a fish. It was, I had the kidder in my hand, and it was broken enough, and it was like right in front of me eating that. Well. Now we've got an indecision shower you gave me. Oh, your first scallop reef. <laughs> huh? Oh, yeah, he, he got a kid. He was eating kidna underwater. Who? Dad. Did you? Yeah, he was eating kidna. He took the rig out of his mouth and started eating. <laughs> hey, Mum, have you took your mask off? I took my mask off, like completely took it off my head. No. Like eight meters down. Did you? Yeah, put it back on. It was scary. <laughs> that was did you? Dad, Dad, Dad yeah, 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 yeah. Me to do it. I was just sitting there and he just ripped it off my face. Yeah. And then you. Oh, look Oh, nice. Oh, oh get that into ya. James, you want a hot drink? How good is that, Ray? Wow, oh, I'm so happy. What did you find? KFC. And <laughs> I've even got my plate down here. I've got my plate, KFC, and um, some seasoning. I can wash my hands so I can eat my soup now. So after eating Espy's packed lunch they gave us, um, I upgraded from a smaller tank to a bigger tank, and it was ready to jump in the water and be upgraded. You're on the big tank. I'm on the big tank. Big dog. Big tank. Big dog. Big tank for small dog. Instructor Elise. She was really funny. Elise was really helpful getting, um, no, making sure that I get my dive tank on and making sure that I get into it. <laughs> We're about to go for our final dive of the day and I'm really excited because we get to go just under 12 meters. By far this last dive was my favorite because we got to see a lot of new and exciting things during the dive. We are on our final dive of the course. It was so awesome and so rewarding to see my young fella under there putting all of the skills he had learnt into practice. Diving to me is just an unreal, amazing experience. When you're under the ocean, it feels like you really are on another planet. You're surrounded by sea life, fish swimming all around you. There's just so much to see and learn about. Not only did I learn a whole bunch of new things about diving and ways to stay safe, Reef learned a new skill that will provide him excitement, entertainment, and keep him and his mates well fed for years to come. Quick 
disclaimer, during the dive course we weren't allowed to collect any sea life or anything from the sea, um, but I'm super happy and excited for when I finally get the chance to go out and get some stuff from the bottom of the ocean. Was that race? You finished? Yeah, we went 11.9 <laughs> meters. I need to call point one more meters. When are you going for your next dive to get some crows? Today. Yeah, I want to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go looking for crows next time. That was your deepest dive yet. Yeah? 11.9 meters. <laughs> How was your deepest dive? That was awesome. Nice awesome. dive. Beautiful. Awesome. That's all that I can come up with. Went cool. right down amongst the kelp. He was like in amongst the kelp, like searching through the kelp. Nice. Um, we found this like orange and white thing. It what was about like the ray? We found a big stingray just oh, cool. lying there. Yeah, they do that. Yeah, and we were um, we were watching it from behind the seaweed. How how would you sum up diving, Reef? Awesomely fun. Awesomely fun. You want to do it again? Uh huh. Yeah. Cool. Like I'm kind of sad that it's over. Oh. Are you sad? Yeah. All right. How good is that? Doing my dive course was a blast, and I was really happy that I did it because even though I was a little bit nervous at first, I got into it, and it ended up being awesome. Bonus, I have to say, the instructors on this course are pretty cool. Like Carter, he's really good at encouraging other people to learn. And Ryan, well, he's pretty cool too. Elise is funny, just funny as. Ha <laughs> Mr. Tim, Mr. Tim, how was your day? Whoa. What was your favourite part? unreal time doing our dive course and we'd like to say thank you to dive zone fidianga and a huge thank you to mares and smart marine for providing the quality equipment we needed to get the job done and as always thank you to our other supporters who keep us on the water 